Here is our tag scene. Part of the thing here was to hit the audience with as much random information as possible. Where are they? They're on a parking deck somewhere in the city. We see Janet in street clothes for the first time. There's Louise's van. In the back of the van is a shrunken quantum tunnel, it appears. Now Scott is in his Ant-Man suit. What is he doing there? Um, he's turning something on, so uh, they fire up the tunnel. Here's Hope. She's got a container, and they're talking about going and getting quantum healing particles. So there's a lot for the audience to take in. And the idea was, let's just sort of give them a taste of, um, you know, now after all those neat resolutions, like what are these heroes up to next? Are they progressing this quantum technology? What are they doing? And they've got a portable tunnel and um, Scott's gonna go in and we learned that he's getting these particles to sort of hopefully um, further heal Ghost. So that's intriguing. Somehow there's been communication between Bill Foster and Ava and Hank and Janet and Hope and Scott. Suddenly he's lost in the quantum realm. They've lost contact, but of course it's Scott screwing around and, and uh, things are funny. So it was always, it was sort of building all these, what were hopefully gonna be misleads for the audience. Now presenting a, another part of the quantum realm, this very colorful cosmic part of the quantum realm where he's getting these healing particles. And now things go south. And now we present how our movie Ant-Man and the Wasp deals with the dramatic events that we saw at the end of Infinity War. Scott uh, thinks they're playing a joke on him. We cut back and the, uh, the three characters that we've seen are no longer there. They've been turned to ash thanks to Thanos. And seemingly Scott Lang is trapped in the quantum realm. To see that sequence uh, with an audience has been incredibly gratifying. And again, there were many, many different ways we talked about how to incorporate the Infinity War events into our movie, and that felt like the way to do it. It felt cheeky in the way that hopefully Ant-Man and the Wasp is cheeky, but um, really does pack a dramatic punch with audiences as you see it in the theater.